Hi everyone, it's Brass Love 1000, and this is an update video. A lot of it's from Basing Halter Live, and stuff coming up. And the quick one is about my camera. My mom found one at Savers. Um, it is a little red camera. It's a basic camera. It's a digital one. It doesn't zoom when you make a video. It doesn't focus that great when you're making videos, but it's still an amazing camera. Um, this is what we're going to be using for now until I get a card. But, as you know, my other camera kind of exploded on me. The screen cracked and crap. But until Thursday happened, I actually found this one. Like I said, I need a card for this one because it's kind of out of commission because it doesn't have one. Um, it's a very nice camera. It, um, it has very good focusing. Like, if you... Actually, that's not a good way to put it. You put it this way, you can tell just from here. Oh, of course, this one's not going to focus on me, but... It can pick up the lettering very well. I don't know how this is going to focus, but... Well, there we go. It focuses amazingly. And the flash pops up if I want to. There's a button right there, and you go... Boop! Sorry, it's like 2 in the morning, and I'm just... If I rant, I'm sorry. But that's that. Um, updates for class list. Um, I have a few little things. She isn't showing... I'm showing Freckles, the little jumper saved me instead because I haven't had time to fix her and I am not going to have time to fix her because school is starting tomorrow because today's Monday. Um, so yeah, she's going to be spoiling the tax set I'm going to be um, donating to, to the raffle, excuse me. Um, it's going to be a western tax set. It's going to be the same bridle as Raquel's. If you can see, sorry, I can't zoom in on her. But it's going to be the same bottle as hers, except it's going to be brown. And she's already won two NAND cards with that to begin with, so it's going to be amazing. Um, a breastplate and a tie-down. So, yeah, she's going to be sporting that. And please don't tell me that flat ribbon can't be LSU proven, because Raquel herself has won two NAND cards. This bridle, um, my horse with this bridle, it's a flat ribbon bridle has won a NAN card and he has won a NAN card and that's made out of grow grain. So please don't tell me it's not. So cause it is. Um but yeah, she's gonna be sporting that. Um this guy, um, Midnight Fright, is going in class number twenty three. He has amazing like shading you can tell like you can see even this camera can pick it up you can see his dark points I mean this is obviously lighter on the camera but he has dark points and light points and he blends very well so yeah he's going to be going class 23 yes I know he's not a normal colored horse but he has crisp markings and everything I'm pretty sure he'll have a good chance at collectability um class number 24 changed my mind she is beautiful she has good shading and good confirmation for what I'm showing her as so yeah, oop, she kind of died. So yeah, that's her. Um, class number thirty is Sir. My dad named him because he, he looks very sophisticated. I haven't shown him yet because of a mark on his barrel. You can kind of see it now. It's from the plastic because it was kind of stuck to him. But he has very pretty mane. Like it's very detailed. So showing him on this side would give him a good chance. Yep, that's Sir. He has good shading, and yeah, there he is. And this little girl, I'm going to be putting class 41. I got her to trade a while back for body quality, um, dib mates, and dump, jump, jumps and stuff. So, yeah, she only has one little etchable thing on her leg. Other than that, she's perfect. So, yep, yeah, she's going in there. She does not have a name yet, but she will. Um, another update is. The rack, I know you can't really see it, but you can see the wood on the floor, and the weather girls are all standing up with the poles inside of them. Um, these two aren't supposed to be, well, there's supposed to be a pole in between them, but they just all need to stand. It's made for all the weather girls and both the heartbreaker foals me and my sister have, so that's that. Some of the poles are taken out, but they're all going to be wrapped. I have to do that for the show. So, yeah, they're all going to be wrapped like this. Um, that's for pretty much all I have for base state. Um, actually, besides 
what I'm going to be wearing. Um, you can't miss me and my sister. My sister, I'm pretty sure, is going to be wearing this tank top. Well, wife beater, whatever you want to call it. It's blue with purple writing. It kind of blends in here, but oh, you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's going to be purple writing. Mine is white with either it's going to have pink, blue, or purple writing. I don't know, but it has thick straps. You can't miss me. I'm going to be wearing white. You can't. Anyway, um, so that's that. Um, the last update I have, I think, is the, um, the next shows I'm going to, and a possible one I might be going to. Um, obviously I'm going to base date. The next one coming is on the 15th, so a week from the base date. Um, it's going to be an intermediate show at Golden Oak Stables. I know a bunch of people who show there, and I have a fun time. So, me, my sister, Caddy789, and JumperGirl456 are going to come from this show. Oh, obviously, next week we're going to go to that show. And that show, we're going to meet up with the Lover of Briars. Um, I've had good times with the Lover of Briars and Caddy789, so we're looking to have another fun time. And then the show after that is the 13th of October. It's at Golden Oak Stables again, but that is a youth and novice show. So, and oh, the show that's next, the week after this, it's no different than an open show. Well, that they used to hold. It's going to have the same classes, the same everything, except there's going to be no NAN cards or Region 10 cards, which are these doohickeys. And the difference between that, another difference is a tiny bit more of competition because you're going up against sorry I'm like blah, blah, blah. It's 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm just fried but anyway it's just a little more competitive and yes it's a little more money but trust me it is worth it in the end it'll make your buyers worth a ton more money and yeah so that's the only difference because you're kind of going up against adults me, Caddy789, and my sister do it all the time. And Caddy789 kicks my butt. You can ask her. It's funny. But, anyway. The last room I might go to is the Region X Championships. It's in November 3rd and 4th. We really want to go because we couldn't go to NAN this year because we didn't go to Briarfest. And, yeah. So, we're hoping, we're hoping we can go to this because it's the next best thing. Because all the horses that got NAN cards at Golden Oak Stables came with, got these. The only horse that didn't get one was Shooting Star, and because he got a NAN card at Briarfest. Yes, he got first in the Arabian class, if you people don't know. So, we take all of these, the, horse, the ones that we got, like, she has one for performance. Um, we take them all there, we show them, only the ones with these, so... It's going to be a small version of Nan, the Region 10 version of Nan. So hopefully we can go. Um, it'll be a learning experience. It'll be amazing and stuff. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of boring and I'm kind of just fried and just yeah. So. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope to see Caddy789, Jumper Girl 456 at the show. And there's another girl I messaged, I, I messaged, and she's coming from Africa straight to the show. I hope to see you there. Um, uh, I think that's about it. So, yes, Thunder says hi. Hi. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just blah. So, yeah, that is about it, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.